Eternal Magic is a brand new free-to-play traditional style MMORPG that features tab targets in combat, six non-gender locked classes, guild vs guild PvP, battlegrounds, a MOBA game mode, as well as PvE content in the form of heroic and chaos dungeons. The game also features a pet system, at level 50 you can get your own player house and players can also choose to get married. So we have six classes, you've got the Knight, the Spellblade, I think they've all got the same voice actor, the Mage, the Assassin, and the Priest. From the looks of it, none of these classes are gender locked, which is always nice. I think I'm gonna be a female Spellblade. A few little facial presets to choose from, no sliders by the looks of it. Let's have a redhead, shall we? See her in a few different outfits. Free name change at level 10 to 30. Okay, that's random. D's Nips. Well, I can actually have that name, nice. Control mode, I'm a skilled player. I'm a newbie. The game wants new players to move with... Click to move, do they? And apparently moving with WASD is a skilled player. I'm a skilled player, I can use WASD, what the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Looks a little bit like a mobile game, not gonna lie. Hello, Faith. Maybe you can give me some faith in this game. Well, we've already found another player in the world, so this game already has one more player than I expected it to have. Oh, here we go. Left click green letters to enable autopath. Let's go to Hannah, another player. Oh my God, there's players everywhere. And you go up to things, press one, press two. There it is. At least the global cooldown's relatively short, but I swear that boar sound was from World of Warcraft. That really does remind me of a quill bore sound from, wow. That's level two. So apparently we have a knitted hood, but it doesn't appear on my character. Okay, game. Got ourselves a new ability. We've got a C ability. Explosive flare pushes me towards the target. This game actually has a dodge feature. I wasn't expecting that. So if I double tap a direction, then it makes me do a dodge. All of these abilities I can use whilst moving, which is nice. At least it's not completely static combat. You can jump without interrupting the like auto the path. Listen to the sound when this guy dies. I swear that is literally the sound of a human in WoW dying, but it's just edited ever so slightly. I got a new passive ability that makes it so I can proc abilities after I press C. So I can spam E twice in a row which is quite nice. You know, I don't see the point of having quests that say, find Deputy Commander. I mean, how can you not find him when you just click on his name? What's the point of autopathing, dude? To be fair, I have experienced worse combat than this game. You level up fairly quickly. I've got myself a new outfit, apparently. Doesn't change how I look whatsoever. I'm not sure if it's possible to die in this game. My character seems pretty safe so far. Now I'm fighting some bosses who are going to deal zero damage to me most likely, but at least I've got some stuff to move out of the way of. I do appreciate that. Got a little cutscene of this fantastically crafted city. To be fair, if this game was a mobile game, it'd probably be quite good for a mobile game, but it's not a mobile game, is it? There's actually people playing this game. There's quite a lot of people playing this game. What the fuck? They're all in a guild called Pandemonium. Right, let's inspect some of these players, shall we? A lot of people have this same mount for some reason. None of these people look overly remarkable, but this guy over here is a paedophile, apparently. Okay, this guy's a copy and paste of this guy. Nice. Someone's got a tortoise pet. There's these little lolly pets around everywhere. Okay, here's Simba. That pet's quite cute, to be fair. I like that one. Fresh out of Iron Forge. There's something wrong with this woman's eyes. They're too big. She's a fucking alien. Fresh out of Area 51. I don't even know anymore, dude. This seems like some kind of pet stables. And in this one, you can buy a small child with a floating cat head. And here you've got a balloon pig. There's so many little weird pet monsters running around. This dude's got a little bazooka type thing. It certainly feels high fantasy, that's for sure. We're getting a horse already. Level six. Okay. Give me that horse. It's fucking rude, isn't it? What do you want to give me? I'm sure there's a lot of things he wants to give my character. Summoning mount. So we're summoning the mount whilst running, okay? And we have a horse. She's never ridden a horse before, so as you can see, 
She's riding it like a bit of an idiot. Now we can autopath even more effectively. Look at that. Let's group these guys up. And now let's do my new ability, which is channeled. And that does some big damage. And it is AoE cleave. The combat isn't as bad as I thought it would be. The combat looked fucking horrific on the trailer. At least it's not static. I thought it was going to be Aura Kingdom combat where every ability... You're rooted in place. Let's see what my rune skill does. An AoE aura around me. That's pretty cool, to be fair. Seems as though a lot of the abilities trigger combos from the other abilities. Cut scene here. Tom's dead. Nancy's fucking dead as well. These werewolves are causing havoc. Dude, is it really necessary <laughs> to have these giant green arrows pointing me in the direction of where Hannah is? I can fucking see her. No one's this bad at games that they need a giant green arrow like that. We've got another little boss, have we? Now he's set fire to my character. Okay. Begin awakening. Okay. Let's go. What does this do? God, I don't know. The sound effects are like really bugging out hard. Okay, we're fucking destroying everything. I don't know what's going on. We're level 10 and we're already awakened. Big damage. Absolutely destroying this guy. It wouldn't surprise me if we get to a certain point and then you just grind mobs. This game does seem like it'd be an okay mob grinder, I guess. For fuck's sake, now we've got a lolly pet. And the game's just throwing XP at me for talking to different NPCs. We're level 13. Now we need to upgrade something. Let's upgrade the sword. We get a free upgrade. Okay, we'll do it again. Another one. We'll do it again. Another one. We'll do it again. The game has an RNG upgrade system. That is what we all like, isn't it? To be fair, at least you unlock abilities at a reasonable pace. You're not stuck using three abilities for hours on end. So these are all the guilds in the game. Judging by the amount of members that these guilds have on EU, there's over a thousand... Maybe a thousand and a half players. It's spider time, is it? So now I need to use my pet's awakening skill. Okay, pet, go. I don't know what it's doing. It's just doing a song and dance, but... We got a piece of equipment that actually has a different skin. Do these appear on my character? They do, actually. Okay. Fucking the spider sound effect is 100% copy and pasted from WoW. Listen to this. This is a trampoline and you can launch into the air. Okay. Okay. Okay, I needed to walk on it, not jump on it. Oh, okay. Jumper, I guess. Now we're in Goldshire. New challenge, evil dog challenge. Okay, mate, give me a challenge. We've got a real beefcake over here. Jump over blast waves. Okay, mechanics. Actual mechanics. So this little area here just teaches you about basic boss mechanics. Level 18. And now we're doing our first instance, apparently. Instantly found a group. Maybe I underestimated this game a little bit. I genuinely thought I'd be the only person playing this game. We have a level 60 mage in our group. I'm not sure if it means the dungeon scales or something. Ooh, okay. Come on, big hits. Right, so now we need to avoid being hit by that. And it's dead. There it is. Go to the treasure chest. And now we've got a 5 out of 5 player group. Three of those people are level 60s. That's so confusing. I'm going to pop my fucking big ultimate. Here we go. Absolutely decimating everything. Oh my bloody hell. Another one down. We're leveling up really quickly. Level 20 now. We actually upgraded our clothes. Looking good. Finally, another outfit. Wait, what happens if I get hit by a boulder? Wow. As much as this is a pretty shitty MMO, I'm having more fun in this game than I have other MMOs. It's not... It's not the worst thing I've ever covered in a first impressions video. Kind of goes to show the type of shit that I need to play sometimes. But I am having like a little bit of fun. I don't know why, maybe it's the fast progression or something. I like the short global cooldown as well. Like you've always got something to press to be fair. Got myself another chest piece. Does this look different as well? It does. Oh, okay. At the end of the dungeon, you get a little damage report. It tells you how you did. I'll give everyone a like because I'm a friendly guy. The game is flooding me with things to do right now. Like, I've got so many new skills. 
The game wants me to do challenges, it wants me to do dungeons. I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions right now. Then my character's going up to these massive trees and she's just collecting them, is she? Where's she storing these trees? This is the quest. Just lob explosives at these poor fuckers. Get bombed, idiots. But every dungeon gives you a bunch of quests. Oh god, I'm standing in the fire. Oh, my name's Lazy Pio and I'm gonna stand in the fire. That's a good idea. Into the spider's nest. Oh, fuck off. I don't like the look of that one. Oh, that's a hairy boy. If I saw a spider like that in real life, I'd call the police. To be fair, I'd, I don't know what else I'd do. <laughs> what the fuck would you do if you saw a giant spider like that? That's just a nope. Quite a good group, to be fair. We're blazing through this dungeon. You could probably run this game on any potato PC. We've all popped our pet abilities. Damage is happening, and it's dead. Very, very good. Got myself some epic stone shoulders. What do they look like? Ooh. One person gave me a like. I'll take that. Back to the challenge master to learn more about mechanics. Leave the dangerous district. Wow, wow that was hard. <laughs> so this is, this is a tutorial to not stand in the fucking pool of red. To be fair... I failed at doing that in the dungeons twice already. I could do a U-turn in a bus by the time it takes these rocks to land. Oh my god. This is teaching me about a mechanic where the spider puts a web on the guys and then I go up to them and I press F and it removes the spider webs. Open the boxes. Let's clog my inventory up even more. I'm doing level 17 quests at level 29 at this point. This seems like one of those MMOs where the time it takes to get from one level to the next doesn't really increase. Wow, this dude's edgy, isn't he? Oh my god, I'm gonna cut myself on him. I've been waiting for an MMO where you just see giant floating balls just around everywhere. Disenchant unnecessary items, that's half my inventory. Inventory is clean. Bye. If I'm gonna hide a treasure chest, I'm gonna hide it right here. No one's gonna find that, are they? Woo. Level 30. I think I've seen enough at this point. So after playing Eternal Magic for a bit, my thoughts on the game so far are as follows. I liked that you get plenty of skills early on and you're not stuck pressing three buttons for ages. No gender locked classes. I liked that the combat didn't feel static and the variety of abilities seemed really good. Certainly not the worst tab targeting system I've seen, although some of the animations were kind of lacking. More people play the game than I expected and it didn't take too long to find groups. You get a fast sense of progression early on and that in itself can be somewhat entertaining. Visually, the game looks super outdated. Auto pathing to remove any sense of exploration you might have. The world is heavily instanced. From looking at the other characters in the world, I felt the game lacked a feeling of individuality for your character. Free to play and pay to win. Sound effects bug out when too many mobs are being hit at once. And it looks and feels like a mobile game at times. Overall, Eternal Magic isn't the worst MMORPG I've covered in this series, but then again, that's not really saying much. I wasn't overly bored during my time playing the game, and I did get a few little dopamine hits here and there, but overall, it just feels like too much of an outdated game for me to care about much. Maybe this could be a fun time killer for a few hours if you have a potato computer and can't run anything better. But that's it for this video, guys. As always, do let me know your thoughts on Eternal Magic in the comments below. Is this the best MMORPG? RPG release this year? Would you sell your children into slavery just for a chance to play this masterpiece for a few hours? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.